Good everyone, I'm Liz Bishop. In just over an hour, Governor Cuomo will deliver his State of the State Address in Albany. He's set to tackle a range of topics that include taxes, education, and women's equality. Now, these addresses are not very well-kept secrets, and here with a breakdown of what we're likely to hear is our Capitol correspondent, Pat Bailey. What is on deck for this afternoon, Pat? Well, Liz, of course, every year there's a myriad of things that's inside the state of the state address. And as you mentioned, uncharacteristic of the governor, a couple of things that came out earlier this week by the governor, two big things. One, his plan to freeze and cut taxes in New York State. And two, uh, how he's going to spend the federal relief aid to rebuild New York State. Now, the governor earlier this week, when he held two separate uh, press conferences on, uh, separate, on those separate issues, said that they were so large that he didn't want to bog them down in the state of the state. He wanted to get the message out there a few days early to get his plan out there to explain it to the taxpayers and of course the legislature who will have to approve all of his uh, all of his proposals later on today as far as the tax cuts go we'll give you a quick refresher he wants to freeze property taxes for homeowners who live within cities whose uh, mayors stay within the two percent property tax cap and have a plan to consolidate services in the future as far as the relief aid goes that's why vice president joe biden was here yesterday he heard a presentation on how the governor and the state is spending all of their money uh, the federal money that they were given to uh, clean up after Sandy and a couple other things to hear from today. Education, casinos, women equality. I'm told he will touch on all of those in the state of the state address today, Liz. Well, you talked about the lawmakers have to sign off on this. Have you talked to any of them? Do we know what they think of these proposals? Well, I haven't talked to them yet about the proposals. Of course, I'm just hearing from sources of what these proposals are. For example, education. The governor expected today to put out a uh, proposal to bond or basically borrow money to upgrade classrooms throughout New York State to make them more smart or tech, uh, tech savvy. Again, everything that he proposes in the state of the state needs, uh, mo for the most part, needs legislative approval. And as you've seen in the past, of course, there's always, at least at the 11th hour, at the end of session, there's always a deal to get things done, whether it's the full uh, governor's proposal or whether it's a watered down version. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what he proposes here today and then what actually gets done at the end of session, which at this year ends the second week of J uh, June because the third week of June is now the congressional uh, primaries. So the legislature are going to handle 55 days this session. And of course, we'll continue to keep you up th updated throughout the whole day about the state of the state, Liz. All right. Well, enjoy yourself. and We'll look forward to more as the day goes on. Thanks, Pat Bailey. And you can follow Pat on Twitter. He'll be tweeting about the state of the state as it happens. Find him at CBS6, Pat.